There are a few ways to do noise reduction that I know of in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you what I do to get the best results. G'day superstars, there is absolutely nothing worse than having noise through your footage. It's quite frustrating and it's actually quite hard to fix unless you're in DaVinci Resolve. Sometimes you film that shot, you're trying to expose the interior, the outside's really bright, you're trying to balance in between. And when you bring the shadows up in DaVinci Resolve, you end up with a lot of noise and artifacts in your footage. And while some projects are good to leave a bit of noise in, when you're doing things like real estate, for instance, like I do, you don't want any noise in your footage if you can get away with it. So let's switch over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what I do right now. Now I filmed a house recently, and I'll load this file in here for you to see. And I, this room is quite dark, this, this walk-in pantry. So I actually filmed it in a way that would show a lot of noise when I brought the shadows up, just for the sake of this tutorial. As you can see, it's really dark, underexposed really badly. Let's bring this down, there's a timeline down here. Now if you go into your color, first of all, those walls, that light switch is white, so let's adjust the white balance. And every time you do something like this, you'll find that um, that you'll, you'll bring in more noise every time you adjust white balance if it's not shot correctly as well. So let's click on the eyedropper here, go to this light switch, I know for a fact it was white, and that's our correct, close to our correct color for the sake of this tutorial anyway. Let's bring our exposure up on the color wheels. And we'll bring the contrast in because it's looking a bit pale. Bring the shadows right up. A bit more contrast, a bit more exposure. Pull some color out of it. And every time we do these kind of adjustments, it'll introduce more noise if it's not shot correctly in the first place. So gonna pull some color out of it to get rid of that green a little bit. And now if you press play, you'll see it. There's all this noise through it. You see that, those moving pixels? See that? It's pretty bad. On a big screen, that is really obvious. And you can see when you press pause, you can see all these little dots everywhere. One way to remove the noise reduction is like this. Obviously, you've got to be in the color tab down the bottom here, and you go over to these little, uh, this little uh, square box here. Now, when DaVinci first came out, this was the way you did it. You just increase your luma control, and that would reduce your noise. So let's do that now. Let's make this like eight. And you say to yourself, that looks much better. If you make it zero again, you can see how much noise is there. But when you do eight, it gets rid of it, right? But what happens is when you press play, you get all this kind of, these weird artifacts. It's like a blurry movement. Now you're getting these weird artifacts and these weird blocks. So on the surface, it may look better. It isn't really much better. It's just masking what's already there and making it a little bit more blurry. And of course, then you would add sharpness here to bring it a bit, to make it a bit sharper. And you think that would do the job, but it doesn't do the job. There's a better way than this. But in a pinch, this is a quick way if you need it. Now keep in mind, this way we just did will work if it's not very pixelated. If it's not very noisy, then maybe hitting one or two on the Luma control will fix the problem. But it's not the correct way to do it. Let's go back to zero, so we've got our full noise back in, as you can see. And we're gonna stay in this window, but we're gonna go over to your node over here, and we're gonna right click and go add node, and make sure it's a correct node. Now you don't have to do a node adjustment. If you're just doing one file, you can just adjust the file. But the bonus of doing a node is that it affects everything that's in front of that file and doesn't affect that file. So it's an adjustable block that sits on top of your footage. And how you connect this node to that footage is you just click and hold with your left click on your mouse, bring it up until you see a yellow line, and then let go, and that's now connected. So any adjustments you do to this will affect this. But this, if you deleted that node, this file would still be the same as it was before. So how do you do it? Well, you're in the same tab as you were before in the color tab, and then go to the motion effects panel and temporal NR, you wanna change that to five. And once you do that, these other settings would appear. By the way, on the temporal noise reduction here, if you get an error when you change it to five, it means your computer graphics card can't handle it. So drop that number to two or three or something like that. Now for your motion range here, I set mine to medium because I'm always moving with the camera. The more you're moving, the higher you should go. So up to large, for instance, or medium. If your camera is stationary and you've got noise, you can select small and that will actually work really well as well. Um, and also, of course, if your computer isn't up to spec, then select small as by default. But I go medium by default and it seems to work for me pretty much all the time. Now for the temporal threshold, you can see I've had it on 50 on a previous setting, but 
I think about 30 is a good amount to have it on. Somewhere between 20 and 40 seems to work really well. So let's just go with 30. The higher that number, the more definition in your shot you'll lose. So it'll take away detail and edges and things like that. So be careful with what you do here. Then we're going to go to spatial NR, which is noise reduction. But this actually removes chromatic noise. And chromatic noise is not just noise like dots. It's noise of colored dots. So you might see blue or green colored dots if you go in close and press play. There may be some flickering different colored dots. It's a bit hard to see in this one, but overall it's pretty good, I think. Anyway, but this is what you need to use if you're going to get rid of those dots. So if you get rid of the noise and there's still this kind of colored pixels flicking around, this spatial NR is what you need to use. But what works best for me generally, especially if you're filming something at night and you're in the black areas, you're getting all these colors. Select faster here, select small, and that should do it. And go to spatial threshold and unlink that little link so you're not changing the luma and the chroma and put your chroma up to about between 20 and 50 basically you just drag it to where you think is going to work best for your footage now if you watch the shot now here is the noise reduction with all the settings we, we just applied and here it is just with using the luma adjustment you see it's a huge difference And speaking of noise reduction, let's talk about noise. DaVinci has a bug. There's a bug in DaVinci Resolve that when you put your audio in, sometimes half your audio file disappears. The file can play perfectly outside of DaVinci Resolve, but when you put it into DaVinci Resolve, it'll play for a little bit and then stop. If this problem has happened to you, click here because I have a solution, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.